how to see genome comparisons or synteny within Persephone. There are two different ways we show synteny within the application. Uh, genome by genome, you can go to the toolbars, go to synteny matrix, and in this scenario, you actually pick two organisms. So we'll pick corn, and uh, we want to compare that to sorghum, for example. You can also pick the annotation method that's used that you want to compare. So in this scenario, I'm picking corn GenBank CDS, sorghum, we're doing a JGI CDS. We'll display synteny. The application now takes a little time and gives you chromosome by chromosome comparison across the 10 chromosomes in corn and the 10 chromosomes in sorghum. Once the synteny matrix is up, you can zoom in by selecting the shift key on the keyboard and the left mouse button, and you can zoom into a region within this. And you can double click on that region to display it in the chromosome view. You can have both screens up simultaneously. So you can go back and forth between these two views if necessary. So this is what was selected, the inversion here, on chromosome 3 in corn and sorghum chromosome 3 as well. So that is genome by genome comparison and synteny view. So let me clear plates real quickly. The other opportunity for synteny is actually starting at the chromosome view. So you can select corn, chromosome 3, for example, in this scenario. We'll get rid of a few of these tracks. So now I'm interested in corn chromosomes 3. What is the synteny that's available for other organisms? You can right click and come up with the menu. And the menu says find synteny. You select the organism that you're interested to look at the synteny with. Once again, we'll just select sorghum. And now this interface comes up with the number of matches per chromosome. Matches are based on orthologous genes. Um, within the system. So as you can see here, sorghum chromosome 3 has the most matches uh, compared to other chromosomes for corn chromosome 3. So we'll now display map and close. This now brings up sorghum chromosome 3 and corn chromosome 3, the same maps that we had up previously with the large inversion. You can zoom in to those by using your mouse wheel all the way down to the gene level or you can auto arrange and look at them like this. You can also bring up multiple chromosomes. So if we wanted to keep going with this, and now I wanted to select corn chromosome five and see the synteny once again with sorghum. Sorghum chromosome four is the best match. I can bring up that. And now we can do multiple chromosome synteny uh, simultaneously. So there's no longer the need to do one chromosome by one chromosome, and you can zoom in to all of these chromosomes simultaneously, or if you mouse over a given plate, you can zoom into one or another. And so this is, once again, uh, an easy way to look at synteny uh, between chromosomes and between genes and regions within chromosomes. Hope this helps. Thanks.